It's August 3rd, it's around 70 degrees, and it's about 11 a.m. And I just came down to the garden, I need to get a few things. I want to get some tomatoes that look like they're ready for picking, and I hopefully I have some dill heads I can get. I want to pickle some cucumbers today. All right, so let's take a look over here and see what we have. There's a pretty little swallowtail butterfly right there on the echinacea. There's actually two. So about two years ago, I actually collected uh, the parsley caterpillars off of my parsley. Um, I think I, there was about four of them, and I actually let them grow all the way into butterflies. It was very neat and a lot of fun for me and the kids. So, probably more for me, though, than the kids. I mean, they're always amazed by stuff like that. But for me, I guess I forgot about it from when I was little. So... Anyway, the echinacea is a wonderful thing to grow in your garden. So let's go over here. Hopefully the birds have not gotten my tomatoes yet. <laughs> so I've had a little bit of blight on here. Lost some leaves, but there's a lot of clusters. And so I'm real thrilled about these. These are the little Greek tomatoes. And they're called Thessaloniki. Um, my regular subscribers, you're probably tired of me saying that. But <laughs> I do really enjoy this tomato. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this cluster off here. So I'm losing my garden tools between all of my gardens, and so I don't know. I'm going to use scissors today. That's what I could grab really quick. So let's go ahead and get these. Oh, well, I'll just go ahead and just pull them off, I guess. I'm always afraid that something is going to come down here and eat these up. Something has already gotten a hold of a couple of them. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Here's another one down here. That elephant head amaranth. It is incredible. Unbelievable. And then the raspberry sorbet zinnias behind it. Just a beautiful color. Really pretty. I can probably take one of the heads off because it's dying off a little bit. Let's go get that. Huge heads. Or zinnias. Really nice. Some of these little tiny tomatoes down here. I guess I have just a few of these. And I'm going to get a few more. Got some of these sweet Thai peppers in here. Over here, I pulled out a lot of plants. I'm getting some room ready for my fall garden, and um, I'm glad I planted so much basil over here. It was just kind of a backup, and I always try to plant backups for my main plants that I really enjoy using. Um, in my container garden, you guys know I have a lot of basil. However, a few weeks ago, it was completely consumed by Japanese beetles. They just attacked it, so they didn't down here which is very good because now I have basil here and it will be really nice in just a few weeks, maybe two weeks. So the deal has finally gone to seed. It's just so beautiful in the morning sun over the past month or so. Um, I think there's some yellow dill in here that I can still use for my dill pickles. I'm also going to grab some of the dill seed and then I collected some dill, um, dried some dill pollen for pickling. So I'm going to use a several different kinds of dill and my pickles that I'm going to make. Now this is still a little bit green and it's turning tan quickly. It'll be fine for our dill pickles. It'll be, have a lot of flavor. I use a lot of the dill seed when I make dill bread and I'll leave a link to that recipe. If you have a bread machine and you like to make some dill bread, it's really good. Here's some that still has some of the color left on it. I want to head up to my containers and see if I have some peppers and tomatoes up there. Here are a few more tomatoes on this plant. So it looks like something's trying to eat this. Looks like the black flea beetle is on here, which is unusual to see that on tomatoes. But anyway, I'll toss this one. Okay, here are the peppers. Lots of peppers. Yum, yum. And down here, this little pimento pepper plant is starting to lean. I'm going to attempt to put a cage around this without breaking it. <laughs> I might just do it this way. Put it in upside down. Okay, now that looks better supported. All right, let's see what kind of peppers we have. See, is looking pretty good. This is that little French 
um, pepper and they are slowly turning red. I picked one yesterday. It was really nice and I've already used one so I hope I get a lot more of these. Then the pimento plant here is kind of like a little balloon shape. This will be the first year I've grown pimento peppers. Let's take a look over here. We have some jalapenos. Green bell peppers. And my favorite salad to make every season is um, the Greek salad with the peppers and onions. And so that's what I'll make with this and those tomatoes. Well, those are pretty nice. Hi peppers, there are just a ton on here. Oh, it's just starting to turn red. Just starting, so that will not be long. And then this is the Thai orange. Just lots of peppers, loaded with peppers. Those are so hot too. I remember growing these two years ago. Alrighty, so that's what I have today. Oh, and the habaneros, let me show you those. Just covered up under here. This, I do believe, is the white habanero. And I'll need to get some of this garlic for my dill pickles and some of the red onion too for the salad. Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching y'all. Have a beautiful day.